Okay. You up in eleven. All right. With yes, it's great. Is is yes, it's clear and nice. Uh, all right. So let's let's get this thing up, running and pumping. <laughs> Um, we want to say totally top of the good day to each and everyone who logged in. Um, this is the discussion that we always get everybody involved in. And we want to say top of the good morning. We have five beautiful ladies and one monster in the room. So we're definitely starting from my, what I should say, my, I'm going to go to Frida. Introduce yourself, where you from, your name, where you from, and then we move on to someone else. Go ahead, Frida. Hi, I'm Frida. I'm from the UK. Okay. And after... Fr Hi, I'm Liz. Um, I live in Brooklyn, New York, but I'm Puerto Rican. Puerto Rico! Whoa! <laughs> 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 and, uh, and then we have we have Bev. I'm Bev C. Okay, we have Nikki. Hi, I'm Nikki. I'm from Barbados. Ah, uh, originally book. That's where my that's where my um, grandchildren's mother the Beijing. One day I want to go there because do you remember a song back in the seventies? I will we're going to uh, Barbados. Uh, Yay! Ah! Uh, I love the song. When you I never know. And if you find a guy, if you find a guy in Barbados, go please go let me know. Been We've been to Barbados. Liz, you've been to I Barbados? Yeah, I've been to Salusha, Barbados, St. Martin's, and Thailand. I've only been to London and back. Wait, <laughs> 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 I've only been to London and back and never been to London. <laughs> 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 I don't think uh, you, you miss much. You miss oh much. You, 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 you probably miss seeing Prince Charles. And then uh, we have we have Jade. We have Jade. Th uh, all right, thank you guys. Um, we have Jade also. Jade, where are you from? Give me the name of where you're from. I am from Jamaica. I reside in Florida. Okay, Jade is Jade is from Cuba and she resided in Florida. Okay. <laughs> oh, she said Jamaica. Okay, okay, my bad. My bad. You know my ears sometimes don't hear yeah. too much. All right. So, guys, this is our panel. Thank each and every one who logged in. And, uh, we, you know, just to start off with, I want to... Wa what you guys think about beauty pageant, beauty contest? Do you think that, that there should be a beauty pageant, especially when it comes to kids? Getting into beauty pageant and stuff. Parents getting kids into beauty pageant. No, but you know what? I think, I think it's okay if the beauty pageants are children-like. Not with all this fancy, making kids look like little, like grown women. All those dresses, all that stuff. I think that should be avoided. I think that, you know something, I think there's a lot of kids girls growing up and they don't look after themselves the beauty pageants start very early 
well, I think there's an awful, awful, awful lot of pressure <coughs> that is put on them, and it's like they don't have that normal life they should have because now it's like being vain. I have to be perfect, and it's such a shame that I think they over pressure children. It's, come on, guys, chime in here, chime in, chime in. I don't have to, I don't have to call names. Have to be trained the right way and how to go about doing it, and it's fun. Okay, so 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 so. Okay. Hold, 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 hold on, Frida. Hold on, Frida. So Frida, you are against the the the, the, the kids beauty pageant. That no, I'm not against. Get, no, 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 I'm not against it. I think like what you were saying that you know, it's so much involved. Cause I used to love watching these shows, and it's like. They're really pressured. They really are, and they have really bad tantrums. Um, they go into bad depressions in themselves because they haven't been right or they didn't win. Children should be fucked with that, but it also helps them to look after themselves. All right, I, I s definitely see what you're saying, Frida. They are beautiful. Yeah, they are beautiful. But uh, we also we also gotta remember, just like a kid in classroom. This pressure put on the child because the child have to do this, the school work that's put it up there on the board and whatever the assignment is. So that's pressure. So a kid have to grow with pressure because that helps them to develop. You know what I'm saying? Face the world. So they have to be under pressure. No matter what the circumstances, kids are under pressure on a day to day going to school. So 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 it, it, so remember entering a beauty pageant also is a choice. Now a lot of times the the kid the kid don't make that choice. His parents is the one who make the choice. You know what I'm saying? So the the, the, the thing from especially me, if my daughter wanna go into the beauty pageant, not me putting my daughter in the beauty pageant and my daughter don't really want to do it. You have to really find out if the kid, the child, this is what they want to do. You know what I'm saying? But well, most of the parents on this, they want to force their kids because that was Yes, scary. Liz. Yes, Liz. Yes. Thank you. I don't, I think some of the, the children when they do these beauty pageants, they do look good, but sometimes I think they go over the top, over the top. I don't think you should push your child into doing something and they don't like doing it. And then, because I watch some of them with the kids and they have tantrums. Yes, mm -hmm. they win. They shouldn't go through that. Yeah, but hold on here. If a kid is upset because they didn't win, and another child did what they're supposed to do and win, who cares about the tantrum? Hello, tantrum is nothing. Tantrum, tantrum is just somebody who can't control because they 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 did not get what they want. Like you see a kid in a supermarket, your mom said, "No, you're not getting that." They put a tantrum down. Hell no. That's come on now. Well, it means pressure because at the same time, now I have to do better the next time round. I know where I've got wrong. Communications between the parent and the child is very important, I suppose, as well. But, you know, it's, when you look at some of those things that they're doing, it's very expensive. <laughs> I was listening to one of the um, mothers saying, you know, um, it's very expensive to keep doing that because every time they're going in different beauty pageants, and they're traveling all over. Mm -hmm. But I said it's a choice. It's a choice that, you know, and as Liz put out the most important um, conversation there is, Liz said that a lot of times it's the parents the parent dream that they didn't make the, that list and now they want the child yeah. to do that so so it's one of those things which is unfair 
that's why I saying when a parent is doing something like that they gotta make sure that the child wants to do that that's what the child wanna do not the parent wanna do that now guys in the room if you wanna ask a question yeah, feel free to to chime in uh, on in um in our topic and stuff like that we could put that question out all right very solid i like that now what about they were moving prior into schools what's your thought in that removing the prior out of school priors prayer Prayer. Yes, yes, yes. Prayer. 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 I remember in the mornings when you go to school, it's, you know, you have to be in the hall, you have to have your prayers being said. Um, it's a relaxing thing, but then there's a mixture of different religions to have to pray in their own ways. I mean, unity. I don't know, I've just got the word unity in, in it should be brought in now when people understand it, each of those religion and prayers and express mm. in different religions based what prayer means to sit together to give that morning prayer in, in a school. They have took a lot of good things away from schooling. That's true. They have took a lot of good When I was at school, every morning, first thing in assembly, Lord's Prayer. That was the first prayer, Lord's Prayer. It's it, it's an inner peace. And for some it's like, but that ain't my faith. That ain't my no, I don't think they do that now. It is, but in their way. So that's what they need to put into the schools to let kids to understand what mostly the parents right, understand. We're having a prayer within the morning and, you know, they might do it in the Islamic way might do it in jazz way you know buddha's whatever you know all different ways but it's just a short prayer and to accept it and then after that it'd be nice for them to all shake hands to say like you know family unit yeah that's, 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 that's what i think i think that now with all the different religions and how the parents are reacted maybe Get out of here. <laughs> be careful, be nice because the footballers just turn around and, <laughs> and you know what happens to him just by poofing his cats and then does it. <laughs> he, he's fixed. Um, if you tell the parents we're going to do prayers from now on and um, each child gets to say their prayer in the morning one day every child whether it's muslim whether it's catholic whether it's whatever maybe they will not feel as much as now that oh yeah we only pray to god you know mm -hmm. your god that's it that's what i was trying to get across in about they need to start bringing this in and it's a unity is what's right. being lost and it okay. needs to be everybody That's good for us as women to put together, you know, as parents to put together with your show triple to get that word across, to bring that in, you know, um, that a prayer doesn't mean to say, I've got to look at you and no, that's my God, you know. That's a very weak. I think that's a very good point. Yeah. You know what? That's what I don't get. There is only one God, right? And you get yeah. different nationalities, they pray to different people. Well, uh there's one there's one god as you say bev yeah but you also got to remember there's a lot of cultures uh, cultures from different just like look at africa africa got so many different continents you know what i'm saying so if somebody in africa worship michelangelo jesus you wouldn't expect the next person from a different continent to do do the same worship they 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 coming for where their four parents their ancestors worship and they're gonna stick with that you know what i'm saying but yeah we, right right well it's time to get that to make the prayer 
they need to start bringing that back in and start getting it across to parents change. and doing a story. I think doing a story of having the parents mm. to kind of and uh, the children in little groups and bring them in I mean, to let them to understand it's a prayer. now to when he was at school. Everything yep. is different. Yeah, it's it's terrible. Terrible. Right. Right. Sure. Now, Jade, Jade, what, Jade, Jade. yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, Liz. The same way they make the parents mm -hmm. bring supplies mm -hmm. out to the schools, they should listen to some of the things the parents have to say. And, and maybe change a little bit. Thank you. It, like the, the prayer should be, okay, we have all these, we have 30 kids in the class. Each day, each kid gets one prayer, the prayer. Has to say the prayer. Whether it's from Catholic, whether it's from Muslim, whether it's Chinese, whatever. Everybody gets the chance to say their prayer, yeah, prayer. Exactly. like that yeah. everybody understands and also I I, I do on um what what um what is the feed just said about shaking hands you gotta teach your kids uh, understand everything people think the kids don't understand they understand more than adults do mm -hmm. so you gotta give them the chance to be able to understand everybody else's all right definitely um jay talk to me about it what's your input well i think i think the prior should be mandatory and it doesn't matter in what culture it is being said as long as it's been there it used to be there all was well but then it seemed like once the prior left all hell break loose that's when the breakdown religion the system is trying to break down religion so you can rely upon them you know and it's causing corruptions it's causing mm -hmm. problems in the household you know and when you have mixed people now like you've got like islamic and say jamaicans getting together having children together um english and say pakistani getting together and there is a big in between of always clashing about faith of the okay, all right, Nikki. Let me hear your point before then I end this. That's, that's a good thing. Growing up, that thought about it, you had to say prayer every day. It was the class. It was mandatory. Yeah. And it actually kept us in check to learn better and respect everybody. Coming to Brooklyn, it was like a different thing. I'm like, there's no prayer in school. Everything is different. All day today, they do prayer in school. They do prayer. Everywhere else is none because they need it. All right, I have this other this question. Thank you guys very much for that one. Social media communication is better than face to face communication these days. Why? Okay, so you don't think, oh, okay, okay, okay. We have so much of social media communication. Social media communication is, is Mr. Texan. Mr. Texan, nobody want to see nobody no more. Nobody want to have a phone conversation. <laughs> Me, I number one, I hate text, text message. And for people who know me, I hardly see text. I care less about text message. If you want me, call me. Let's talk. I, 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 I <laughs> yeah, text message. I barely, I barely see text messages. I barely see text messages on my phone, and I really don't care. Call my phone. I like to, I like to have a conversation. But hold on, hold on, babe, hold on, babe. I think the person who created text message is one of those ignorant person who, you know, you wanna, you wanna type something real, real quick, fast, and like, how are you? Is everything okay today? All right, bless up yourself. And that's it. Well, I did text you. I did text you. Yeah, because when you don't, yeah, and it's so good for people who don't want to talk to somebody. Like I don't want to talk to 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 Liz. Hey, Liz, big up yourself. Have a great day, and you know, God bless, and you'll do the rest, and that's it. You know, I just did. Talk, I just talked to Liz for the whole day. That's good. She even if yeah. she don't answer me, 
I did send a text message. Hey, when you call to Liz now, mm-hmm. a conversation is different. You know, a conversation is more personal yeah. and things like that. Most people don't give a shit these days about that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Just like, mm-hmm. just like, just like, hold on, like, hold on, just like me. If I have a good friend of mine, if you send me on Christmas Day, Valentine's Day, whatever, if I see you forward some shit somebody send you, I will not respond. You understand? If you're saying happy birthday or whatever, type, I want you to type it, type it to me. Let me see what's here. Not what Liz forward you last year about happy birthday. You say, shit, this is Dion birthday. Let me forward it to him. Happy birthday, Dion, with a big cake. Uh-uh. I will not respond to any person who forward birthday crap. T- text me then. So go ahead, now, um, Frida. You wanted to say something. That's a hit. <laughs> yeah, the text, the text has um, have people not know how to communicate anymore. And... <laughs> Don't even mention the spelling. Their grammar is horrible. Sometimes you don't know what the hell it is. What is it? I don't know. I'm double dutch. I don't know. Uh, my, my texting is double dutch. Yeah, I'm saying um, the communication has died with the text. Text take over. I mean, there's a place and a time for everything. I'm not saying we don't need it. Sometimes it's necessary, but it's horrible. Like, for example, how can you, you know, just an example, if someone is going to get terminated, you can terminate your employee by sending a text. That's not separate. That's not. And also the breakup relationship, a text. Mm-hmm. Communication is number one. That's the key. You have yeah. to communicate. You have to communicate. I still got your text, you Liz. You, you can be <laughs> sat there next <laughs> to somebody and they can be on their phone texting. You're sat next to them and it's like you're not there. There's no yeah. communication. <laughs> it's, true. It, it, it's true. And it's like it's like children, they'll be they might be up in their rooms, um, doing something on their phone and that and the only time you'll see them is when the wi-fi goes off <laughs> yeah. yeah that's the only time you will see them what happened to the wi-fi mm-hmm. <laughs> and the driving and the driving and the taxi that's, the that's another thing, thing. Yeah. that's the most dangerous thing oh my god i've seen so much nightmare so much bad things do you have problems understanding the taxi hmm? Do you have problems understanding the texting when people send it to you? No, you I, I, do un- I do understand, but some people just cannot spell. That's me! Like, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> listening yeah, to like, you know, no, that's not me. So. <laughs> like, you're trying to spell something, and I'm like, what is, what is this? I'll try to I figure it but out. But they have spell check, I right? They have is. spell check, right? Mm-hmm. What? But if you I don't know what they don't have spell right. check, but it's horrible. It, but when you have an iPhone, you can talk to it in a text. Ah, 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 okay. Be, ho, ho, hold on. Be careful. Then, be know, careful of that. Because if you have an accent, the 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 the, 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 the speech thing will be really confused. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. If you send somebody that you're stacking them, and Me and Siri wrong. fell out, you know? Where your Siri, we fell out. Mm-hmm. People go back you through a text. <laughs> How about you saying something and she thinks you're saying something else? For example, me and my sister, and she wanted to get her nails done. And Siri was saying, oh, I like your hair the way it is. We never did say anything. <laughs> 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 Liz, 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 you 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 ever you yeah. ever send the wrong text to to your boyfriend? No. Okay. No. Okay. You never was texting John and Tom got it. Okay. All right. 
all right guys we're moving on anything in the room any room can somebody explain what uh, okay um uh, can somebody uh, it's phyllis all right so let's let's move on i have to set a question that 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 that, that that's you know we deal with the social media and and now we're coming down to uh um sex education now should sex education be taught in primary school primary school yes. who said yes who said yes just Jay, oh, jade go ahead why you say yes and why how old okay okay how old i was the oldest age in primary um, seven. 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 No, primary. No. Yeah, primary. Yeah, primary is it? Is, is it? No, it's older than. That's middle school. Right, middle school. Right, middle school. No, 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 no. Primary, primary is the earliest, the early stage, isn't it? Right, but to what? Prime. I think primary. You go up to about primary. Go up to like what? Fa no. Primary, no. Primary go up to go go up to like seven, right? No. No. You have nursery. That's elementary. So okay. Ho and then from nursery you start three to four, and then you finish five when you're nine, ten, eleven, ten, eleven. You go up to eleven. Senior school when you're eleven. That's so you don't in between from. Um, you would get in oh no, one at a time, time, one at a time. Whatever, and then yes, so, uh, um, sex education doesn't mean bad things. They need to know about their body, number one. You want to know, the girl needs to know, the boy needs to know, they need to know not to experiment with certain things. I guess parents go there, but of course, they need to be taught about the human body. And that's where sex education comes in. Mm -hmm. Me, that's okay. what I Okay, now a lot of parents don't want it to be taught because they will do it. But how many parents really get down to the nitty gritty and explain certain things to their child? You know what I'm saying? My, my, my mom, it was the hardest thing for my mom to say something. Don't, I wouldn't expect my dad to say anything. My dad would never say anything to me about sex education at all. But my mom, my mom, my mom tried to explain that she go around Jericho and come around Mount Sinai and then come around. And, and when she came back, and then when she came back to where she started and she left, I was like, what did my mom trying to say to me? I did not understand because, you know, she don't want to go through the nitty gritty, you know what I'm saying? So she just go around there, go right around, and I'm like... I was more confused when my mom left. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, teachers in general, you know, have that to be taught. And um, what were you saying, Frida, on that? Sorry. Uh, about the sex education Sorry. being taught. What were you saying? Me. Yeah. Me. I'm half and half on. I'm half and half with it. Because in this day and age now, I think they need to be taught something because the way that it's going to understand that there are laws of underage sex you know um and when they're taught things like that it's like oh it's normal it's normal and then you get them going out as kids and crowds together as gangs together and before you know it you know they're doing these little things and having little drinks and thinking that it's okay where they need to know the law side of it that we are in, you know, a world full of law right now. Everything okay, Bessie, talk, talk to. Okay, Nikki, go ahead, talk to me on that. Well, here, well, here, and Florida, and school, they give you a form to fill out to say if you want your child to learn about it in That's school. Right. That's up to the parent to say yes or no. Mm -hmm. I always say yes because when I was back home in Barbados, I was five. I learned my body part. I learned what the right name to call your body part. You know. Hold on, Nikki. You you learn it the good way or the bad way. I learned the good way. The good 
Oh, oh, okay, okay. Name. You learn the correct name for your body parts. You call your body parts. Because you know the, us eyes and kids have different names for our body parts. But back home in school, they taught us the correct name, what to call it, mm -hmm. what to do with it, where babies came mm -hmm. from. We learned that at five and six, because when you hit nine, you're going to high school. Here in America, the kids will come and say, oh, well, I got a wee wee. No, you don't. That's not what you call it. My grandson is seven. And I taught him at four what it's called. Yeah, because because you have the like parent is giving it different name just to explain it because they don't want to say you want a pee pee. You know, they will they will they will change it around and give instead of saying vagina they say tushy and give it all these little <laughs> fancy name. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and you know and you know the boys call it a doggy and the girls call it a <laughs> 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 hold, hold up here, hold up Nikki. You said the boys they call it a doggy? <laughs> <laughs> Even some girls men today still say, Oh, I got a doggy. No, you do not you have a penis. Shut up. You know oh, what I'm saying? So it's what the girls definitely the correct way how to give it their body to make it look like and I taught my kids at an early age, like, yo, when you get six, seven, eight, nine, eleven, and twelve, you're gonna have your menstrual. My baby father was like, you don't tell her that. I'm like, yes, you do. She's a girl. What do you mean? I'm like, you're Jamaican. Shut up. You're in an idiot. Kids have to teach their bodies and learn what to do, that's, how to wash it, how to do everything. Yeah. This is for me. Yeah. Yeah. My my parents are my mother. I guess she grew up not talking about that stuff. And and I, I when I got my period, I didn't know what was happening. And then I got home, and I told her, and she told everybody, even my stepdad and my uncle. And I'm like, what the hell are you telling these people? <laughs> She can be. I thought I was dying, okay? When my father was telling me all that, because obviously my mother died when I was very young, so yeah, it was down to him to tell me these sort of things. Um, it was embarrassing. I felt embarrassed because I had to go to my father and ask him things. So, in that respect, for me, it was hard because at them times my older sister she'd already left home, so it was my me and my younger sister. Wow. So, obviously, I used to say to my younger sister, "Go and ask Dad for money so I can buy this." Because I was embarrassed to ask him. And I shouldn't have been, but I was. It's one of the most... Yeah, it's one, it's one of the most embarrassing yeah. and crazy thing, especially when your daughter is seen her period for the first time and she don't tell her mother she called you. My daughter did that one time, called me. I freaked out. And my daughter was trying to calm me down. Like, Dad, calm down, calm down. And I'm like freaking out. You know what I'm saying? My daughter was nine years old when that happened. And I'm trying to convince her if somebody touched her or somebody did something to her. And she's trying to calm me down and say, no. <laughs> it, was the, it was the worst day of my life. You know, and I had to call my, I had to call my mom and do the three-way conversation. And I'm trying to explain to my mom what's going on with my daughter. And my mom was like, yeah. Yeah, I guess that, that's her. And I'm like, mom, she is nine years old. And my daughter was like, and my daughter was like, Dad, calm down. Um, um, like she would say, uh, um, Tina had hers when she was seven. And I'm like, and I'm like, seven. You know, her little girlfriend that's at school had hers when she was seven. And my daughter had hers at nine, the first time. And I'm looking like, can you imagine a seven-year-old girl now? A seven-year-old kid can get pregnant. That, that's, that, that's the thing that freaked the hell out of me. You know what I'm saying? Because time changes, you know, and everything changed. 
you know, I'm looking at my daughter nine, but when she said her little friend seven, I'm like, whoa. And then you have these perverts out there. Don't care what age it is. They just see a innocent meat in front of them and they're ready to dine. You know what I'm saying? So it's just crazy. Sure. Today, uh, their menstruation um, cycle is starting earlier yeah. and earlier. That's the thing. Yep. All right. All right. We clear that part up and stuff like that. <coughs> All right. But when I ask a question to my dad, he said, Oh, okay. I feel the same now when she asked her dad certain <laughs> question. Her dad told her to ask her mom. <laughs> yep. That, 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 yeah. Not every man know how to deal with situation like that. They're not. They're not. All right. Now, gender. Gender discrimination in school. Gender discrimination in school. You have a lot of kids. Well, a lot of school kids nowadays, they're telling you what gender they are at the early stage. Okay. Mom. How do you deal with that? Now, let me start first. Just one at a time. Jade, your daughter at 12 years old is telling you that, you know what? I am gay. What would your response be? We need counseling. We need counseling. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to handle that one. That one like okay uh, okay okay jade so if you go counseling and the counselor say listen to me that is how her she feels that's what's going on with her at that time whatever sometimes they do grow out of whatever is going on with them sometimes they don't how you gonna be how would you deal with it i'm gonna sit her down i'm gonna mm -hmm. sit her down i'm gonna talk to her because i need to know at such age, how can she be sure of, you know, who she is? Sometimes we are confused. But should that happen, I would support my child 100%. Okay. I'm not going to turn my back on the child. Okay. So we, uh, we have to talk. I like that. I like, I like what you said. I, I definitely like what you said. You, do the, you go to the counselor first. And uh, uh, whatever is whatever happened, uh, uh, it's what it is. Then you 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 go to the the, the 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 acceptance part and then work towards it. That's what you're saying to me. Okay, all right. Let me go over. It. Let me go. I'm working the room. Go ahead, Frida. Talk to me. Well, I'm proud of my daughter because she communicates with all her kids. And they can ask, I'm not afraid to ask my mom, mom, my daughter anything, which there was a situation where there was a niece that turned to my granddaughters and a conversation took place, I can't discuss it all. And, um, you know, they were trying to help her to understand and talk it through. But, like I say, it's very important um, for the daughter to have somebody or the son to have somebody they feel they can talk to within the household rather than go outside the home because it is hard to talk to your parents I suppose because um, I think there's just so much that today that's out there now thinking it's good to open up children as they can't open up about their sexuality um, and right now, everywhere you look, it's on TVs, it's in dramas, it's in um, music. And it's a shame the kids must be so messed up and confused that they think, oh, I'm gay because I like that girl. They're not gay because they don't understand what it means. And they like it because they've seen it people, mm. or they see other people. For example, when I was a kid, right, and we watched two men up the park and you know it was only kid and get all together and we watched to us it was it was wrong because them days in the 70s like you know what i mean um and we watched these two grown-up men go in holding our hands 
going into a toilet. And the next minute, you know, everybody was screaming and shouting at them and cussing these men down. Because to go into the toilet together as a man and holding hands is wrong. But today, you can't because you're in trouble if you're discriminating. Yeah. Now, there is a big change within now the whole system of trying to help people to open up and come out about these things. It's but I think it's just and getting too much. Again, and children are thinking they're gay when they're not. And it's, another, way. They're not. And it's another way. Let's change society. No more pregnancies. Yeah? Too many babies. Make everybody gay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. The system, uh, the system all right. The okay, Bev, go ahead now. I think, I think at the end of the day, you are who you are. Um, at a young age, maybe they don't know what they want. But if they're set in their ways, um, I think if a child of mine come to me um, and said that, um, yeah, I would sit down and talk to them and ask some questions. And but at the end of the day, it's down to them what they want when they're older. You know, um, I wouldn't turn my back on them. No. Okay. Um, that's the way society is now. You know, that's the way it is. Men getting married to men and women getting getting married to women and m two men that are married married and having babies. Well, it's like a, a broken jigsaw puzzle. If you have yeah. a jigsaw puzzle put that's together... Well, this is the kind of form safety and, and that's the way things are now. Mm. But it's like a broken jigsaw puzzle, isn't it? What can you do? I had, I had a, as you know, triple Marion, my friend. She was a she was a nice lady and she was a lesbian, yeah. Um, me and her was good friends and not once, not once in all the years that I knew her did she ever make a pass at me. Because she knew I wasn't that way inclined. They don't they don't um No. Let me, let and me. they are some of the nicest people. Yeah. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Um there's butchers. That's, that's the, man, the the one that thinks they're man. They think that they could make any woman uh -huh. turn gay. <laughs> that's that's just their bad mentality because they they want to be more men than men. Uh -huh. But there's like my best friend. She's she's a lesbian. She has a daughter. She was married twice. Now she's been married to this to a lesbian. There's a very nice woman. She's she dresses in boy clothes, but she's very feminine. She's like not butch. Um, she's not. She's she doesn't think that she's a dude. She knows she's a woman that likes women. Her mentality then is like she is. Like she's each to their own. It's also. hard to explain. Some of them put themselves in that situation. They have to change everything right. about them. Where when you put yourself you in like women, and that's naturally yeah. beautiful. I think that is when they don't change and force themselves. That they've got to say, "Tell them we're wrong." Okay. Okay. Yeah. You have to change your own body to become who you, your mind thinks you are, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a different person. Mm -hmm. uh, like a child can be born and as they're growing up, they feel like they're in the wrong body. Right. And, and that's what And I, 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 I understand that. You want to be that because you, the whole thing thinks you're a girl. You think like a girl, mm. and he might you be think wrong. like a girl, and he might be wrong. You might have been, yeah. born, actually, you might have been born actually in the wrong body, but and if you want to go through that process, then go through the process. I think we as parents, we have to support. Like be in the back of, be behind our kids, yes. 
in, in their decisions and and watch what they're doing and make sure oh no wait um let me push you to the left because you're going too much to the right you know that's what we here to do uh-huh. we're not here to impose no you can't go out with girls you gotta go out with guys you know we're not that's not i don't think that's what we should be doing when my best friend came out to me the first thing she said i'm gonna tell you something but i don't want you to hate me and not love me no more and that hurt my heart that she would tell me that and we've been friends for like 15 years or more and now it's like 30 years but come on why would you say that and i re- always knew she was gay even when she had a husband because her she she's very beautiful she looks like christy alley she's very pretty and always girls will be around her we would go to clubs and girl, like other girl, gay girls would go just talk to her. Like she's, she makes friends with everybody. But I knew. I said, oh, please. You tell me <laughs> right Nikki. <laughs> All right. Nikki, talk to me. Nikki's the last one, and then we go off this. Nikki, talk to me. Yeah. Your daughter come to you. What, what, what would you do? I will support her. I will support her. I have her back because that's my child. Okay. Okay. All right. Now, now, go to the the the, 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 the next topic that I I, I want to talk about and is um um textbook is textbook better than tablet for school kids? Cause now basically you don't see a lot of textbook. Textbook is being faded out in 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 schools, and the kids are handed. Um, tablets or, or laptop you know what 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 do you guys think about that I wish you I feel me thank yeah. you thank you right <laughs> I wish I had one of those because I used to kill myself <laughs> yeah you know what I'm saying yep carry all them books on your back that was in your back those encyclopedias your they used to and your parents used to buy them for you. Yeah, they used to I paid money for that. You paid using. Yep. <laughs> I told my daughter, you don't know about this. I used to tell every time she had, she had to do a report or something. I used to, I used to tell her, boy, you are so lucky. You could type it on the on the laptop. You could mm-hmm. fix it. You could take out what you want. We ain't had that chance. You have to start. erase or scratch off. You have to erase or try. If you defend, you have to try and start all over again. Mm-hmm. When I went back to school, I was 35 years old. Wow. And I went back to college. I went to college for a little bit. But I went back to college. And I thought I, could, I wouldn't be able to do it. I didn't even know computers like that. But I got an A my first, oh my, oh, in my first semester, I was like, what? Go girl. I went, and listen, sick and all, I went all the way to my two, two associates and one bachelor's. Wow. And I was sick, I would go to school and I was yeah. so tired. But, but, all right, I nice. Jade. I haven't heard you, you, you mention anything yet on that. What do, what, what's your intake? I think it's good too. For I think it's to good too for them to have to the have it, the computer, to have it, mm-hmm. the, computer mm-hmm. the tablet. No, no. It is about bags, now. Right? We don't need we book bags. Right? Oh, you, 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 you ever see some book bags and oh, some of the kids them? Oh my them. God! You think they're in the army? It's like the whole mm-hmm. house is in the back. Mm-hmm. Remember, we used to carry all those books. <laughs> All right, no, a part two to that question, right? A part two to that question. And the part two of it says, um, oh my gosh, I just, I just lost it. I just lost it. Uh, uh, hold on. Digital learning material make student lazy. 
because, because, because now, you know, the kids, they're not going to the, the, the scrap paper. One and one equals, they just go to the calculator. Well, it's the system trying to change the brain again that you have to rely on the <laughs> <laughs> And if they can break your brain down, you have to rely on them because they don't like smart people. So when you get your book and your pencil and you're given maths, you're given work to have to look up and do, your brain is thinking, you're educating yourself so smart. So now, your brain also is like in between of that you have to be smart to use a computer I can't use a computer so am I smart people say think I'm smart because I can talk but I can't pick up a computer and type all this that and the other but it's the brain the way it thinks the way you suck in stuff the computer at the end of the day can make you lazy can make you not be able to communicate properly in a classroom it's good to be able to have some people that can start from the beginning, like going from nursery onwards to actually write things down, to research things up the best way you can and write down. The brain needs it, but the system wants to break your brain down. That's it just depends, my comment. It depends also on the teacher that is teaching you. Because my son is a middle school, and when they were home school, his math teacher. She was like, oh, show me the work. She had a section you could go to, and you had to divide your problems or add your problems, whatever, and show her the work. You didn't show her the work, you got no grade. It's the teachers. You know, because when being at home, because being, you know, being at home, I love online because I can do at my own pace. I still got to show my work and still lose my brain to think of what I want to do to get my brain done. Everything's going I think it can make your brain lazy because using the computers and everything it's so easy you just go on google and bam it's there so in a way in one way it's good but in another it's not look at the other countries that right that that has very poor and look what they do and they scratch things down and and, and they try to calculate get stones and you know, it's not going back with the very first beginning of old times, but everything's going digital, digital now. No matter what you do, robot technology now. Everything, everything, everything's yes. going up, 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 up. Yes. Going digital. You know, again, real upon, real upon, re, re, I can't get a word to do Again, rely on the system. They don't want you to get too brainy because you'll beat them. Mm. All right, my next question is capital punishment. The ban is the ban of capital punishment was a mistake. Um, um, yeah, yeah. Hold on, uh, yeah. hold on, yeah. hold on Jay. Yeah. Go ahead, Bev, and why? I think because, like, for somebody that's going out there and just killing somebody random, um, take that instance here that happened here in Reading when it was a summer's day and people was all sat in the park in in the abbey in the abbey there and somebody just went in there and started stabbing gay people in the neck and killing people now for people for people like that yes bring back capital punishment then people never did any wrong to him and, and pedophiles things like that yes why should they live in jail why? An eye for an eye. Alright, come down the line. Nikki, talk to me on that. Capital punishment. You think it was a mistake? If you do something wrong, you deserve that punishment. You deserve that punishment. I can't even see your eye. Really, really. Nikki, look at me. Look at me. Nikki. 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 Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> Thank you. What were you saying now? What were you saying now? Mm -hmm. All right, Liz. Hold on, hold on. I'm hold on. I'm working it around. Liz, talk to me. Cap 
capital do you think that capital punishment was a mistake oh, when they banned it? Let me yeah. tell you something. I think that we waste too much money on taking care of people in jail. It's a big money making thing, yeah. They should get <laughs> one of these islands they have all the way out there. Right there. And drop them suckers off over there. <laughs> <laughs> And let them live like they can. That for themselves. Especially the ones that kill kids and kill all the women and the rapists. Those people need to be out there. Mm-hmm. You know there's an island in the Pacific that uh, a tribe lives there and if you try to go in they kill you? Whoa. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I've seen some of that on the TV. Really? Yeah. It's somewhere by, um, by, uh, where is it? By Guam up there. And and they don't they don't allow nobody in the island because even um, people that have come to try to help them, they have killed them. Wow. They don't want nobody in the island. Yeah, I watch it. There's a program on telly about that really interesting wow yeah i watch all those things so yeah. i know uh, i just like I, I don't watch regular tv that often but i watch a lot of youtube and stuff okay all right liz but i think but i think here well, i think one kill for an another kill is is that really the punishment Mean? Killing you, say two wrongs don't kill make the, rights. Right. You killing somebody, you're not teaching them anything. You're not punishing them. I think they're getting away with it when they get killed. Uh huh. Because they're not suffering. No, they're not getting They're not going through the suffering that the families are going through. No, sure. lost a loved one. So you right think, you think you could, you could bring them back by um what you call it we um no 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 not 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 recognition that if they're dead you rehabilitate them to to bring them no not rehabilitate but what okay so all right so you're saying that have them in jail to live out their life but they have the worst life there is right okay right. but not not but not, not uh, oh yeah let me go nah. And, and mm-hmm. all that, like they do mm-hmm. now. Yeah, they got everything now. Yeah, not that kind of prison. Like, like Cuba kind of prison. <laughs> yeah. I think. Sh- kind of prison. I think prison should be. Yeah. Up. All right. Hold on, guys. Go ahead, no Jade. Let me hear from you, and then free the next. Well, I agree with Liz. I mean, <clears throat> if if there was capital punishment reinforced people would actually think twice before they do certain things because they know they can get away with it. They don't even think about it. And then a kill for kill now because some people, you know, get killed innocent. So we really would like to know and see how that go. We can't just drop them off in prison either. Because remember, sometimes it's self-defense, right? Yeah, yeah but... Mm. We need capital for Okay. Uh, okay. I'm hearing that. Frida, talk to me, love. Well, to me, what's going on in the mind, what is actually going in the mind is where they need to get into. So when you said that rehabilitation of, like, getting in and trying to change them, they a lot of hard work involved to try and break them, to open up and explain what is really going on around in their life to what has happened what traumas for them but when you turn around and you have somebody that's arguing with you and at an outburst you just go stab or a glass and back your anger management your anger there and frustration at that moment you're not aware of what you've done it hasn't dropped sometimes the penny you know but you've just killed somebody so to me the hanging and whatever else but when you have them kidnapping and 
hiding children or women they know what they are doing continuously raping them you know putting them on the streets making money out of them yeah you know get in their head but you know what they need punishment they need to know killing they you know people up say two wrongs don't make a right so not going to say okay i'm going to give you the role your electric chair many people have died being innocent because of cover-ups especially like yeah. i say in america and other countries you know they just throw it at them oh because they're black and sorry but don't mean it the wrong way but there's a lot of innocent black people that has been gone through a hell of a lot of being blamed and killed so i'll get a bit strong about that there's innocent people too but at the same time if you go out and take a knife it is to protect your maybe yourself which a lot of children's doing it because they've got involved with the gang and they've had threats being made and now they're scared yeah or they're pressured or they're gonna go out because i'm gonna kill somebody they get on the wrong side of me today okay yeah? I, I i i i see what you're that talking about really yeah going on. up here all right all right guys as i say definitely if you're just joining us we're here um all these beautiful ladies all over the world and we are definitely here discussing issues that affect our youth and also us as adults um is racism a matter of one's upbringing is racism a matter of one upbringing for a person to be i call it ignorance okay all right okay go ahead frida you say it's not really their upbringing you think it's ignorance i think right that it's learning educating right ignorance as well within them because i've gone through a lot of racism my children have I've gone through racism from white, even growing up in my own house. Right, and and it be, because of your choice, because um, you 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 kiss them fathers from a different race, so yeah, you get that. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. You do you do you do get that, but in that case, my my um my ex, my daughter is white and he's the cook for her. She went through racism from white family because of her brother's race and it was not nice what I had grown up into and what I went through, you know, and yeah, I'm sorry, I'll start getting a bit sad That's now. okay, that's Race okay. I hate so much because I call it lack of education, it's ignorance within people mm -hmm. look at you're still the same take your skin off you bleed you're still the same underneath take that off your muscles everything you've got bones you're still the same yeah it's yeah just your ignorance why do people want to change themselves white folk why do people want to go and change themselves brown or black folk why and yet the go to them and go nigga this or nigga that or packy this or packy that or white this white that but yet Look at them. You've got tan skin, man. You've just gone on holiday. Mm -hmm. You know, except we're all human beings. Yeah, we all come, right, from our parents, their parents, their parents, back to your ancestry. Educate yourself to your education of your history, your ancestry. And instead of that, you might find out that we're all connected. My sister, sorry, going on. My sister's ex, right? Um, nephew, went back to Jamaica. Cause he's confused. He's got, he's got, but he's got a small nose. And it's white man, right? That actually took over in the times, and raped all the women there. They've all got children. He went over and he said, I can't believe how much relatives I've got back in the time. White man there and he with all these women you see what our ancestors have done but yes i thought don't blame a person because of white don't blame a person because of black don't blame a person because they're indian go to your ancestry look up your history 
yeah because right now this is how the world is being made it's like turning the soil nice. over one seed one seed yeah. one tree one tree, one tree, one tree and what is leaves are branches yep mm -hmm. leaves and branches leaves and branches beautiful flowers and seeds nice we are the nice jade to jade talk to me is racism a matter of one's upbringing what's your opinion on that Absolutely not. Some of it, yeah. Some of it is not. Um, I've heard it, so I've been hearing it and everything, and I see it different. When you experience it, then you think different. So it has nothing to do with one. Okay, all right. Let me go to Liz. Go ahead, Liz. What's your intake on that? I think it's to, uh, 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 I think in the beginning is something at home, some some parents, because when I was a kid, my aunt lived in New York and I lived in Puerto Rico, and when they would come, a lot of people would say that black people were bad. They used to call them morena, which is dark skin, and they used to say, oh, you don't want to go over there because black people are bad. But when I came here, my best friends was black. And you don't understand. You see how Dominicans act like they don't like black people and they always... Uh, we all come from Africa. So, Puerto Ricans are made by Spanglish, Africans, and Indian, Caribbean Indian. Same thing with Jamaicans. The same thing with everybody. I'm getting a feedback. I'm getting a feedback. I'm getting a feedback. So one island to the other rape where women make more kids. So we all need. Okay. Yeah, Frida, Frida, something is um, feedback on, on your side. Is your, f what, what, yeah, is your phone? Okay, all right. All right, hold on, hold on, Frida, hold on one second. I got that from you. Let me go to Nikki. Go ahead now, Nikki. Uh, Frida, look what's going on with your phone there. Is it plugged in the charger or something? Okay, go ahead, go ahead, Nikki. Let me hear you. Some kids go with that because they can not easy to them. I met this man one day, this white man one day, he told me, he said his parents grew him up not to like black people. But when he went to school and he mixed with them, he realized that they were great people. And from that day on, he loved black people. So it depends on who your parent is. I met some kids, black kids that don't like black they're like, oh, white people are nasty, we don't like them. A lot of my friends are white. My mom works with white people, and I met the best people that's white. So it depends on that individual that you are around and how they are towards you. Let's treat them as a friend. I, I like what, what you said, Nikki. I like. I'm, I have to make a statement after that. Bevsi, talk to me. Yeah. I used yeah. to get enough, I used to get enough um, name calling and that when I was younger. Um, I mean, I've been around black people all my life, as long as I can remember. And the names I used to get called because I was going out with a different race. It was unbelievable. But you know what? I stopped it out. And, you know, as I got older and I looked at some of my friends that used to say them same words to me, I would them. Oh, you kidding me. So they used to, they used to, they used to talk a lot of crap with you, but now they're dating a black guy. Wow. Yes, yes, okay. And and if you go white and Nikki and if you go white you're right. <laughs> okay. Um 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 Jade, what were you saying now? Yeah, you were saying something? Oh, okay. Um my pers okay. Personally, I think that that definitely 
um, racism is also a matter of one's upbringing. That's my my opinion because a person just don't come out of the clear blue sky tomorrow morning. You're racist. If you have a racist parents, that's what's going to be fed down to you. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of these racists um, that you see out there is from their four parents. You know, or their parents taught them certain thing and, and they just continue with the whole process. Not double checking certain things for themselves. You know what I'm saying? So, to me, I think that it's all part of how you were raised up. You know what I'm saying? It's all you were raised up. Black folks are also racist as hell. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because mm -hmm. yeah. if, if, if you check and see how many white folks here have dated a black guy and how many black um, black male or female have dated a white, you'll see the same thing. You know what I'm saying? As I said, when I went to England, I was I was in in a, a big wake, waking up of how different cultures came together and, 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 and went to a, a, a club when all I see was coming in was black and white couple, black and white couple and I was still looking whole night to see two black couple came in and yes, two black couple came in but it was two lesbian and I was there whole night at that club and I have not seen a black guy and a, 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 a black girl walking it was a white girl, black guy, black guy, white, white girl and I was, I was, I was surprised. I was in a shock. You know what I'm saying? And it, it is just crazy. You know what I'm saying? When you, when you, when you talk with, you just simply talk with your friends and say, would you, you know, would you date a, 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 a black girl or a black, a white girl, and you will hear what they have to say. You know what I'm saying? And well, to me, love has no boundaries, no color. No color. No color. So I'm not going to go out there and say, oh, I'm only dating Jamaicans. No, I'm only dating Bayesian. Because love does not, you tell who you, you fix who you want to love. You know what I'm saying? Love has an open barrier for whosoever you want to fall in love with. You know what I'm saying? So when a person said to me, I only date this person. I only date my race. I only date this. Then what are you really saying to me? You know what I'm saying? I got friends who, who think like that. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's one of those things. You'll be surprised that your own friend could be racist and sh he or she don't even recognize that they're racist. It's true. You know what I'm saying? It's so true. It, it, it's crazy how, how, how people, you know. Now, one of the biggest things in New York right now, I, and I should say New York in the United States of America that we have, we have a big issue going on now when it comes to abortion 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 before i put my chime in i just definitely want to hear from you y'all females what you think what's your input about abortion first person i'm uh, i'm putting on is liz talk to me liz what's your input about abortion I think that a woman should be allowed to do whatever she wants. Facts. That's it. Okay. That's it. All right. Let's put her foot down and die. No matter what age you are, no matter what mm -hmm. gender you are, you don't want, you you don't want if you want to do certain things. How about China? How about China? They didn't want you to have girls. Mm -hmm. They will kill girls. Was it China, Japan? Yeah. Yeah. Something. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. The male child. Yeah. Like I don't. Nobody should tell you whether you want to be a mother or not. Whether you want to be a mother or not. Especially if you've been raped, if you're a, a young girl that maybe doesn't, uh -huh. is not ready. Shouldn't matter with it. Um, who you are, you should be able to say, no, I don't want to have this child, mm -hmm. and that's that. Okay. All right. That's, 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 that's. You know, that's, that's, I'm, not the, one you know I, I'm not the one that's going to mm -hmm. take care of the child. The person that's taking care of the child should be mm -hmm. the one to decide. Okay. Which is point. That's a good point. All right. Got you. Nikki. 
talk to me. Talk to me, Nick. Yes. I agree with Liz. You have to put your body on your body. Mm-hmm. Put your body thing off is, 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 thing off they want to, they want to abort that baby. Could be health reasons, mental reasons. There could be so many reasons why. So, yeah. I think it's up to the individual. It's their body. All right. Let me come down to Jay. Jay, talk to me. What's your input on abortion? I support it one hundred percent. You're entitled to whatever you want to do 100 percent i support it okay frida she gone she gone oh frida uh, i think i think something something happened with her phone or whatever yeah all right totally i i, I totally believe whatsoever a female want to do is her body there's no such thing as government gonna gonna dictate what a person want to do and stuff like that That's right. you understand so abortion should not be illegal but make it legal and continue with it you know legal okay ay 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 um another 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 question that i want to ask should government provide health care i know in the uk the government do but in the united states we definitely don't so uh, uh ben you gotta you gotta accept this one here so we're talking nikki liz yeah. jade talk to me on that the, yeah, the yeah. should the government definitely um provide health care for us Yes. Why? Yes. Healthcare. Um, healthcare. Um, it's very expensive. Okay. It's very expensive. <laughs> and everyone. Has when you say inexpensive, you mean? No, it is. It is. Per uh, item. So if you went to the doctor there and you needed like um, three items on a prescription from the pharmacy. You'd have to pay for each individual one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Bev. Mm. Yeah, but look at this now. Yeah, you but look at this now. And you work and you then you retire. When you're working. When you're yes, working. You have coverage, yes, you, you have, have health coverage. Yeah. You have your insurance. Like coverage, it's more like a group once coverage. You're once you're not working you're anymore, anymore covered. you're no longer covered yeah. with then that. You're gonna have to find that. Then money. you're going to have to find that money. Okay. To and if you pay, don't have it, and if you do don't suffer? have it, what you're going to do is suffer. They should okay. provide. They should provide um, um, health care. Don't go to the doctor because they don't have insurance. They let themselves die at home. Wow, that's true. That's true. Yep, it is. It is. Bev, 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 hold up. Just why? And, 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 and it's true. Um, England has one of the best healthcare systems. Yeah, there is. You know why? Because they want to prevent you from getting sick. They want people. They do preventive care not like here here they just keep giving you stuff so you could be sick and then take more stuff <laughs> yep um, they, 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 they just want they yeah. just want to the, um for 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 those who are in the united states they may not know explain how your 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 um health care what you get for free in health care 
all all prescriptions, um, all medicine, um, operations, no matter how big or small, mm -hmm. uh, eye care, teeth, everything. I'm you with it. Cosmetic surgery. Do but you if, get that too? If you're, if you're working, um, if you if you work, then you pay for your prescriptions. If you don't. Um, then you get everything free. Even if you're a worker, you will pay for your prescriptions, um, eyes, uh, if you've got to have an eye test, dental treatment, if you're working, but you won't have to pay for operations or anything like that. So yeah, we're, the, the the UK for healthcare is, so, is very good. Um, so, so what about if I decide that I want boobs tomorrow, will, will, will the healthcare pay for that? If I want t if I want tits tomorrow, would they pay for that? Only, I mean, there has been um, situations where people have gone abroad and had breast implants and everything, which has gone wrong, and then when they come back to the UK, they sort it out here. No, that, no, 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 I'm saying, okay, will, will they pay? Yeah, but Bev. Um, no, they're not, they're not paying for this enhancement. Um, no. No cosmetic surgery. No cosmetic surgery. Um, yeah, they, they, it depends. If you was in an accident or something like that and you needed cosmetic surgery, then yes. But not if you have a nose that's too large and you want to make it smaller. <laughs> <laughs> not that one. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta see Dr. Miami for that. <laughs> I mean, a lot of people would probably go to London, Harley Street, somewhere like that. You know. But yeah, the NHS does do that. Okay, okay 20 minutes, 20 minutes to go. I like that. <laughs> okay. Yes! Um okay uh everybody made a speech nikki you, you, you did you say what, what what you had to say about that you understand okay yeah, definitely okay. um now okay okay all right now wrapping down to 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 to, to certain certain elements here that i see what's going on now I want each and every one to 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 with weed being legalized. They're, they're putting up a lot of shops now and things like that. Uh, what's your intake about now? All of a sudden now we're getting the weed to be legal. I don't know how that is in England, but I know especially throughout the United States. Yeah, certain states are um, complying with the law. You um, New York City. I think was they they comply but they comply with a lot of restriction, you know what I'm saying? Because New York City still don't want to cope with that, but they have been forced into it. So, what do you guys intake on um, legalizing marijuana? I don't think go for it. it. I think they should because there's go so much, there's so much people out there now um, that are into it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me hear Bev first and then we move on. Go ahead, Bev. It's not legal over here. It's not legal over here. And it's not. And, you know. You hold on, hold on, Bev. Bev, you're saying weed is not illegal there? No, it's not illegal. It's not illegal. It's not. We can't smoke. Oh, that, it, oh it's, not, it's not legal. It's not legal. No, right, it's not right. Legal. Sorry. Yeah, it's not legal. We okay. can't do that. Um, I mean, you can walk along the street and somebody will walk past you, and, and especially that skunk. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 no, I don't like skunks. You only got to walk past them and you turn around. Yeah. Like, oh. yeah. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, I know that. You know, if you smoke it, you smoke it. I, I'm not ashamed to say I've done it. I've smoked it back in the day. <laughs> I did. Um, but it wasn't the, what they're smoking now. <laughs> okay. I mean, that is, that is artificial. Okay. 
I mean, the places that get busted um, <laughs> are for people that are growing their own thing. Synthetic. You know? No. Really it. It? Yes, because you're never going to stop it. The only my thing I disagree with is the hard drugs. I don't agree with that. My uh, nephew. My nephew. Uh, all right, Bev. All right, hold on. Let me go to Liz, then I go around. Go ahead, Liz. Oh! So, 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 hold on, Liz. W were you high? Yes. You were high? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, okay, all right, hold on. No. So, Nikki, yes. Nikki, talk to me. What do you think about that? Nikki look like a weed head. Your weed head? Why not? Why not? Okay, let me. Uh, but, uh, listen, listen, yeah, listen, yeah, yeah, yeah. listen. All right, go ahead. I'm gonna let you talk, and then I, I then I go to Jaden. Go ahead, Nikki. And you can make your own brownies. Like you know, what I'm you make the soup, what you want in it, and you get to go. Okay. You go to the, I mean, you can go to the you go to the CBD shop right now, and they'll be walking a dispensary and buy what you want. My doctor that I did with for my foot has his own dispensary. He has the gummies, he has the cream, he has the rub on. The rub on oil. So when you want, you get you pay for it right there and you walk out with the receipt. So I don't have to go to the store or nothing. I'll be like, I go to my doctor's office and I'm like, hey, I need that. Okay. Uh, uh, let, let, let me, let me hear you, Liz. No, not Liz, not Liz. Let me hear you, Jade. Jade. Come on, weed head. Well, there should, there should be restrictions. Okay. It should be because it will be abused. Like for medical purpose, fine. Like you know what you just said, great. Mm -hmm. But not to be abused. No. Jade, I totally agree with every word you say right there. Because yeah. everybody who's smoking, yeah, no. saying that when you ask them, oh, eh, eh, oh, it's my medicine, and they're still sick as hell, and they're smoking it. They smoke it until it finish, and next week you see them, they're still sick. So what the hell did that medication did? You know what I'm saying? And then you have no, some no. saying that hold on, hold no. on. Some saying that it give them oh it puts you into another level, make you be wise. Make you <laughs> shut up, cause you still dumb. You're not wise. You understand? <laughs> so I don't know where you get wise. Of course you get high. So when you get high it puts you in that level where you think that you, 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 you're sitting on top of the world. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Whatever you're going through at that time, you are the king and everybody is the peasant. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? So, I don't want to hear that. But, of course, me, medical, medical, whatever it is, I could see where the weed, again, I don't know. I could see that if the weed is good for medical purposes, yes, but... You know, a, a person just want to smoke it to get high. Yeah, you just want to smoke it to get high, then it's a different thing. Yeah, yeah, it's it's organic, it's organic, yeah. The when you buy the streets, you don't never know what they put on it. What they mix with it to make it um, smell good or or taste different, and that's what's wrong with the kids now. They find that junk outside the street, mm -hmm. which, is no which is no good. You see, they do. You can get it here for medical reasons, but they take the THC out of it. So what is the point? Mm -hmm. It's not going to serve no purpose because they're taking that out. So, I don't get it. So they think they're in Jerusalem. <laughs> what? You say you're growing, you're growing a pot? You, you're growing? You're growing, Liz? You grow? Oh, you, you're growing? 
Uh, you grow in? You grow in? No. no. Uh, oh, I thought you said you grow in something. <laughs> you grow in <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, as I say, wrapping it up, wrapping it up within the next ten minutes and so. All right, come back to to this thing, your child, especially for those who have a son, or also daughters. Do anyone? Okay, let me find out. Let me let me call Nikki. Liz and Jade, I want you guys to answer this. No, we we already hear what you guys said about parental talking to your kids about the birds and the bees and sex education and stuff like that. I want to see if hands, which one of you guys as a parent ever bought condoms for your daughter or son? Hmm. Jade, what happened? Um, um. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm gonna no, I would I'm love to say. hear what you have to say. Yes, I'll tell, yes, tell you. I'm gonna tell you. I think I, I think I need someone to buy that condom for me. I did not buy that condom for my daughter or my son. My daughter was raised by my sister to begin, and um, my son, grandparents, and so, so I never did get a chance to buy those things. I think I'm the one that needs someone worth to buy the condom. <laughs> oh, you, who? Oh, oh, oh buy the condom for you. Oh, because, you know, just like when you said your parents didn't tell you certain things, you, I mean, I would hear from friends. I didn't have a parent that like guide me and tell me certain things, so I don't know. Yeah. What do I know to tell the child? I don't know. I didn't know anything. Still don't know anything. Still, still don't know anything. So I never bought. Do you do you need do, do you need us to refresh you on anything here now before we close off? That you you. No, I'm good. I'm good. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm just saying that I never did buy the condoms. Oh, uh, okay. Like that. Okay. I know. I know. You know how to use a how a condom is being used. Oh, okay. One hundred percent. I could teach someone. How okay. To use it. Very good. All right. So, so Liz, so you bought condoms for your daughter. I bought condoms for my daughter. I took her to the doctor. I put her on the pill. Oh, okay. Then okay. she started and she turned like 14 and started telling me that she like boy, this boy and that boy. And I explained to her why and I, I did explained it. to her why I did it. And she was okay with it. Okay. <laughs> yep. Yep. All right. Nick, uh, Nikki, talk. But me and her father talked about it. Yeah, okay. It. You know, I had that conversation with him. Because me and him always used to make these kind of decisions, kind of always together. I try to include him. So I did tell him, you know, I'm going to take Layla to get a checkup. And I want her to put on the pill because she's been talking to me a lot about this boy and this and that. So he was like, because oh. he's a medical profession, professional also, like me. And he... um we agreed on it. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. Nikki, talk to me. Well, my, mom didn't teach me she didn't, well, my mom didn't teach me she didn't buy me that. So I had to learn on my own. So my first daughter, the, her in New York, so I guess she didn't get it. My second daughter, I bought them for her. She's like, oh, mommy, you know, if I want to have sex, I'm like, look, if you want to have sex, come tell me. And trust me, I got you. I bought her a pack. I was like, listen to me. Make sure you wear those. Don't bring home no babies. It's not only about the babies. Because me and him, right, we gave, we gave her the whole spectrum of things that could happen. Yeah, I told her. You got to throw a little um, scariness 
into the business. Right. So I showed her the things that could happen. Not only the babies, but the diseases. Everything. The, all those things, you got to talk about them also because, you're, like I said, you got to put a little bit of scare them. on the, how I'm going to do this. Because if you don't scare them, they're going to forget that kind of and be like, ah, oh, forget it. I don't really care. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm going to them. They don't listen. Because dudes, they tend to tell you, oh, but I don't feel like that. I don't feel nothing. Mm -hmm. I don't and pull out. I'll pull out. Forget that pulling out business. Dude. <laughs> that don't work. Don't tell them. Don't, don't let them tell you that they're not. Right. I, I know, I know Liz, 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 Liz you, you got, you got pregnant when he said that he pulled out, remember? <laughs> I wanted to get pregnant, I was 30 years old. Um. <laughs> okay, that's good, that's good. That's good. Nikki. Yeah, you got pregnant yeah. when? Twenty. Uh, oh, okay. Nikki, that was still early though. You just didn't want to wait. Okay, Jade. Jade. <laughs> Most kids are 13. Yep. Most kids 13. Yep. 13. And they're and they're ready. 13 and they're ready. Yep. Yeah, 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 Jade. What? What's the question? When you got pregnant, what age were you? I was too young. Uh, what, 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 what age? He's too young. It's perfect. You were, you were 14? No, I wasn't 14. I was no, older than that. I was older than that. that but mm -hmm. I'm just saying. I still was too young. To I still was too young. Oh, okay. Perfect. Okay. But I can't take it back. But I can't take yeah, it yeah, back. Yeah, you're right. You can't, you can't take, take it back. back. Yeah. True. Yeah. They've not even lived their lives yet. Mm -hmm. So. You know, I can understand where a lot of people are coming from when they say that. Now, okay. Now, my final question to each and every one here today. Now, Bev, if you was to live your life all over again, what would you not do and what would you have continued doing? I wouldn't change anything. I wouldn't change anything because that's how you learn. You, you learn by your mistakes. So, if I could live my life again, I wouldn't really? change anything. Wow. Yeah. Nikki, That's how you if do. you had to live your life all over again, what would you have not done? What would you have done? Different choice. Five babies. Okay. <laughs> I agree with you on that. I agree with you on that. And who I am now. Yeah. But Nikki, the sex was good, so you know, saying. I kept it. I kept it for a while. Yeah. Tell what you have to do. I didn't like it. Is it done now? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, Liz, Liz, talk to me. Talk to me, Liz. If you was to live your life all over again. Yeah. Hi, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I didn't get that. Was that by me again? I said I would have got, got all my degrees when I first got mm -hmm. out of high school. And I would have made a different career choice. That would give you that. That would give you that. I mean, I don't regret the careers mm -hmm. I had. I would have made a different career. I would have made a different career. Because I always tell my nephews and my mother, my nieces, right away, get it out the way, is study something, 
that is long lasting. Mm -hmm. Get you okay, I like, I like, I like what you, I like what you're saying there. Okay, sure. continue, continue. Sure. Yeah. I think that's the main I thing. I think that's something the main thing. Like, something mm -hmm. you like, there's no lasting. There's gonna get you don't somewhere. Do don't just take jobs that are there. One mm -hmm. here, one there. You know, don't do that. You know, don't do that. Because I know people that don't know what they like all their lives, in their job, in their job, in their job. they love it, and mm -hmm. now they retired, and have fun. Wow. Because, you know, they, but did because mm -hmm. they did it early. Because they did it early. I know people that have retired, I know people that have retired two times wow. from the same job. So they went you know, back to, you know, they were too young when they retired mm -hmm. the first time, they went back for another job, they have to do mm -hmm. the same thing, but they got their education mm -hmm. early. You know, in New York right now, there's a uh, there's so many jobs that people just do not want to go and apply for, like like transit. People don't want to work for penetration, but those are the mm -hmm. good jobs. Post office. Oh yeah, so those are those are those are nice federal. Those are nice federal jobs. Yeah, but there's the young people who mm -hmm. want to fight to them. I have a friend that went to me. Free that. The day he eats people. What? Free that. We could see you. Uh, yeah. So, over there, so if, if over there, if, if you don't work, um, do you get money? Do you get money from the government or they anything like that? They might give you food stamps, but they're really not supporting you like they used to in the early like 60s. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they used to give you money for everything. But now they don't do that. Now they give you the most, I think it's $250 and mm -hmm. food. And that's it. They have to pay rent. I think it's like they have to pay rent now, but they wouldn't pay you rent now. Before they used to, before they used to pay rent, pay rent. They give you go get kicked out. You get kicked out. You gotta go to school. Oh no 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 no. Go ahead. I, I'm liking Liz is explaining that for me. Go ahead, Liz. Yeah. You have to go on the shelter system if you get go to the shelter. And then the shelter system mm -hmm. will help you. Mm -hmm. They have family shelters where you can go with your kid and husband. Yeah, but they have you. They got single yeah, single but the thing with the shelter, you can't have visitor in your room. You have to come downstairs and talk to them. And you got to be there. Yeah, certain time you have to go back inside because you're on a curfew. But also, living in the shelter, you still got to contribute something. I think like $25 or something like that. For, for no, no, you don't? No, you don't. They give you stuff. They give you stuff. They give you stuff. Because my, my mm -hmm. ex-home attendant, she had to go on the shelter system because she was being threatened mm -hmm. where she lived. Went in there for your three kids. Went in there mm -hmm. for your three kids. And I told her the only and I told her the only mm -hmm. thing I could think of is for you to go to shelter. He went with her husband, boyfriend, he went with her husband, boyfriend or whatever and he is. And um, they will give them things that have stayed for the kids downstairs. They, you know, they, 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 you know, they, they give you food stuff. They, um, they, they, um, they help you fill out applications for jobs and, and shelter in other apartments. She finally just got an apartment after two years. She got wow, apartment. that's long though. Yeah, because the, sh the, the uh, pandemic pushed everything back. But, but, and, and now trying to assist them. But, 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 but hold on now, but she, she's not working yet, right? Is she working? Oh, 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 she went back to work now. Okay. So, okay, but the, the, the apartment that she get, um, she has to pay for that apartment now, or the government. Right, right. Mm -hmm. It's from the city. But it's, um, it's, uh, it's, it depends on our income. Housing, okay. You so, got you know, it, so, you know, like, you know, like um, because of uh, COVID and the war that's going on, cost of living and everything, gas, electric prices, everything has gone up. 
Now, are you? Do you get any help? Nope. With that? No. We do. We do. That's what I tell you. England, England is. The only thing that we, the only thing I get more of. Obviously, it's it, it's it's not a lot. To some people, it might be a lot. To some, it's not. But they're gonna pay. Everybody in the UK will get it. Everybody, whether you're. You only get that a stimulus check. Whatever. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, but we're not we're not gonna get no more stimulus. That is the stimulus is done. Obviously some people depending on their disability will get more. But they're gonna pay us something like six hundred and fifty pounds in two installments. Mm-hmm. One is for the cost of living because of the prices of food and can, everything. Can you imagine that guys? Because cost of living go up they get money. And the next installment is for gas and electric. Listen, but at cousin. one time they didn't want to give us that much. They only wanted to give us two hundred, and they wanted us to pay it back. But now they've changed it. Listen, my cousin lives in England, right? He has surgery on his back. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Shoulder. Disability this, this gave him a car. He got a new, a brand new car. Yeah, you, you get mobility. Yeah, mobility car. <laughs> I'm like, yo, hold on. Give me a car. <laughs> Liz, Liz, you get if you can't go around, they give you a brand new, not a second hand car, a brand new mm, car. Brand new car. And you can change that car every three years. Yeah. Why, 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 why you think half of the DJs then that you see on Facebook and all over, they got, they, 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 they got, they, they got issues. They sick. And they all, they they play every day on, on Facebook. They are sick. Who ain't who who ain't got who ain't got who ain't got um what the biggest one that they use again um this one here the anxiety anxiety um anxiety it's one of the biggest thing that people use over there in England that they got anxiety. I got anxiety. I got anxiety when I'm trying to to play this tune and I can't find this other one to blend with that. I got mad anxiety. So if I go to if I go to England, Liz, I can put that up that I got anxiety and they pay for everything. Like years ago, like years ago, they couldn't detect if you had a back problem or not. Whereas today, they they cannot, they cannot, they cannot because in America here that they use that shit on us all the time, and that is something. They, Bev, Bev, they, they, they can't, they, back problem, no, no, they cannot, they, they, they will ask you specific question, when you back, that, 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 and they'll try, because of what you say, they try to treat it, not even Bev, not Bev, not even, not even EKG, whatever, cannot find what, what, your back problem. You can't even find that. So where the hell they find that? How they find that over there? That's bull. That's bullshit. Because that, the, 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 Bev. Yeah, the, the, yeah. The MRI. The first thing over here, they put you on. They go. They send it to go do an MRI. You know what I'm saying? If you have yeah. tissue tear, yes, the MRI will pick it up. You know what I'm saying? That's the only thing. Tissue tear, which is muscle tear or whatever, it will pick it up. Any other thing else is not gonna find it, and you could ball from now till next Tuesday. Yes, they will. Yes, they will. What? Bev. No, I have an MRI for my spine, and it tells you. Yeah. Look at my spine. It tells you that I have an disc. It tells you everything. Yeah. That it will tell that. Come on now, disc and things like that. Yes. But I know a lot of people go to MRI and MRI find nothing, and they're still saying that they're suffering. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, so, so, yeah, what I'm yeah. saying, muscle, muscle tear, tissue damage. The MRI will find that. Extra, extra may not see it. The MRI will find it. Otherwise, apart from that MRI, or sp- we we'll call wear and tear. We, uh, I'm not no machine here. As you get older, it's wear and tear. <laughs> <laughs> no, I because because obviously, as you get older, you things, start things, things start to deteriorate. <laughs> it's so funny, like with female, what deteriorate and what don't. You know, what they call it, 
Yeah, what they call it wear and tear. Frida. I can't even pronounce. I can't even pronounce the word that I am. Yeah. yeah. Frida, welcome back, love. Frida, Frida, you mute. You mute, Frida. Yeah, you mute it because we want to say goodbye now too because we are here a long time. Uh, Frida, unmute yourself, love. No, I didn't mute her. She mute. Uh, let me see. I'm trying to. Uh, okay, there you go, Frida. Yes. Frida, how are you? Welcome back. Okay, I like like your top. It's pretty colorful. It's trousers. It's trousers. It's a jumper. It's trousers. It's trousers and top. What do you mean trousers and top? Oh, the top match with the trousers. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's hot. That's cool. You know, can I just say, right? I didn't hear all the conversation, mm -hmm. but some of it. Okay, I don't think the system helps much of people with disabilities to get them in to somewhere. Yeah, and there's people that's got limbs and everything else missing and going to work because they do can get some extra support. But as soon as people start getting the disability yes it's a great help but there's also the ups and downs of they are a liability and it is hard to get a job because with me now I don't want to talk too much it took a long time for them to find out that I've got what them footballers have where I could just go like that in front of you and I was born with that and and I used to stop breathing when I was little and people used to say you need to go and get it checked they could never find that was wrong oh it's angina oh it's um how was it now there's another word they used for it um uh, muscle Sleep apnea uh, muscle like muscle pain what we call it to do with the muscles and in the end I got diagnosed right from a lady while i was sitting down having a cup of coffee with my friend i grabbed it so quick the pain was so sharp up into my pr into my arm into my chest and i screamed and she's this enough enough is enough i see going through it too much right we went over to the walking center and it was by chance that the lady caught something was not right and what it is it's um i've got wpw wolf parkinson white and it's rare and what it is is an extra pathway of the electric cores and where it tells the heart the blood is pumping around the body it's not pumping around the body the so body. your body is going and going and you can go into cardiac arrest and you could die straight away like the footballers they are going wow. through that wow. this is why uh, you're getting all that but the system it took a long time because doctors can't pick it up. If you mm -hmm. can't see it, you can't pick all it. up here they're saying. There you go. So a lot of disability people out there are suffering before they get the justice. That's true. You know, and it's not right. But they're not giving the support. Sorry, Dion. They're not giving the support that they need to because there's a lot of people who get out there and be free clear their head from what they are suffering at home, sitting around deteriorating, thinking that the world, that they can't do nothing in their life anymore. No, they can, but the system needs to help them better by not taking that all amount of the disability away because the jobs can't fork out, basically, to support you as much. Does that make sense? Yes, it's, 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 a, lear it's a learning process. <laughs> All right. There you go. That is what I would need if I was to drop in front of you. My heart goes bang. That fast, I could just like die in front of you. So imagine if I got married on my honeymoon and the night I get married. Yeah, yeah, Frida, because you know your heart go, your heart go be racing that night and you may not wake up after good lovemaking. <laughs> Can you, and that's a good way to go out too, you know. <laughs> that is true, love. 
Lorna. That is just yep. Lorna. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, let me say, all right, guys, it, it, it's always a pledge. And before we go, I definitely want each and every one to say something for being here and also to the fans that's in the room. We have uh, 118 people watching. Wow. Yes. Wow, and uh, anyway, I have to say, yeah, go, go, go start with Frida. Frida. We understand yeah. Frida. So go ahead, say say what you have to say and then say goodbye to the fans and then we go around the room. I have to say I really, I have to say I really was enjoying listening to all of you. Everybody made some great points and needed to get things out there to people as well. I think you're wonderful ladies. I really enjoyed it. And I you know, you had me tears nearly when my phone went. I wanted to cry. And it was nice. And the people who are listening, I hope you take some of this in and, you know, let's get together and stop all this hatred of of wars and crimes of racism. Sorry, I have to say that. No, no, Sorry, no, you, you're that. totally correct. Totally correct. Totally correct. Um, Jade? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Triple Five, for making this happening. And thank you guys for watching. <clears throat> and everyone on the panel it was great so yeah. love you guys and of course we'll be back for more definitely once a month once a month we stay tuned once a month it's liz why why we took so long okay i couldn't find liz <laughs> I do. I, I, yeah. Listen, I took I took a melatonin last night. I was knocked out. <laughs> no, when I called Liz this morning, Liz sounded like she were. You know what? Let me let me. <laughs> yeah, <don't laughs> I, I wish I was. I said, Liz, what are you doing? Because when I call her, she definitely sound not like how she sound now. Yeah. Listen, if I was doing something like that, I would not be picking up the call. Alright, Liz. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh. Alright, uh Mickey, go ahead. Uh, thank you, thank you, Dion, for everything. Everybody, and she's at work. That's the thing. Nikki's at work in her office. Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Okay. Go ahead, Bev. Yes. Yes. Thank you, guys. You know. um when we've got a chat um, coming up, I will always message you a couple of weeks before or a week before to make sure that you you are free and everything, um, which majority of the times you are. Frida, if you have visitors, you have to get rid of them in time. And Jade, and Jade, and Jade, and Jade got appointment that she totally forgot. Um, you know, guys on the chat, um, I say this to you when we do the uh, music shows and everything, thanks for your support, always, you're the best of the best and you're always there supporting Triple Five, um, you, you know how we do this, once a month, um, if it's not the chat show, it will be the Goggle Watch. So, <laughs> stay tuned in because obviously, Triple Five, nothing's up his sleeve. So, mm -hmm. thank you guys for everything. Um, we uh, really appreciate your support. Thank you. Yeah, and also, Triple, yes, you're the best. Thank you. You're the best. And for those who and remember, guys, Lion TV show set the trend. And also, definitely, guys, for those who logged in, we have a, we have 120 now. For those who logged in, thank you, guys, for the support. And also, 
you know we still got a whole bunch of stuff to talk about ne the next the next chat will be a mind-blowing one so this one is just we d we had to deal about kids and a lot of issues like that so the next one will be much more spicier we'll have frida running up all over the place with her hand over her mouth and jade falling down and screaming <laughs> you know what i'm saying and then we have Liz who keep the thing hot, spicy, and sexy. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for for logging in. Thank you for the support. All right. All the best now. And okay. Have you have a good week, guys. And you know, all the best. Bye bye now. Bye.